Grace, mercy, and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Ellen, and I just want to take a brief moment to give a word of revelation on a term that we find in the New Testament. The term that I'm referring to is barbarian, barbarian. And, you know, the question becomes, what is a barbarian? Um, you know, many people just, just see them as uh, brutes or so forth. But what I want to bring to your attention is what the scripture says and, and what it really implies in that terminology. Uh, when you turn to the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 14, the scripture says, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and the unwise. Uh, and the term unwise really means the unintelligent or those who don't understand or those who, who act foolish or act godless. So now in that, one thing that I bring to your attention is based upon the verse in Romans chapter one, verse 14. It's technically giving you a little bit of the definition of a barbarian in the same verse. As the scripture talks about being indebted to the Greeks, the Greeks were considered by the scripture, the refined, the uh, more dignified. And then the barbarians were considered to be the ones unwise or unintelligent or act foolish. Now, why did the scripture say they act foolish or that they acted godless? Other than if I go a little bit deeper, the term barbarian comes from the Greek word barbaros. And barbaros means one who is rude, one who is rough, one who is harsh, and also considered a foreigner who speaks a language not understood. So barbarians are considered by the scripture, one, to be rude and brash people because once again, not only are they in a posture that they don't understand the culture or what is being said to them, their lingo back appears to be rough and brash with those who are as we might consider dignified or those who are more mature when we talk spiritual uh, as believers, those who have a better or clearer understanding of the word, those who have simplified it and are set in their ways regarding what they want it to be interpreted as, they display their lack of understanding and their lack of knowledge, which they classify as what is called a barbarian. And so in that you also begin to see that there is a language barrier between them because in that it's not only that they don't understand what you're saying. Uh, the thing is, in most instances, they don't want to understand. They don't want to come to a greater place of understanding because they become set in their ways. And that is why their emotion or attitude uh, uh, kind of overtakes their identity that gives them the label of being a barbarian or a person who is unwise or one who lacks understanding and not only lacks it, but don't desire to have it. So in that, we will also find the word barbarian referenced in a couple of other scriptures in the New Testament. And once again, the New Testament alone, uh, and which you'll find it in Acts chapter 28, verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 11, and you'll also find it referenced in Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. So with that being said, I know this was a, a quick and precise teaching, but I pray that it blesses you for the understanding of this particular term, the barbarian that's referenced in scripture, so that as you continue on your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus, you're not allowing the barbaric mindset to limit you of getting there and causing you not to grow because you're stunt in your growth due to lack of understanding and not wanting to receive uh, any additional understanding or clarity to grow you in him. Amen, amen, and amen.